Well, Andreas Martinson, I mean, walk us through your year. You got some great time in the National Hockey League, uh, some great ice time here at the Rockford Ice Dogs. But for you, I mean, you're always looking to improve as, as a player. Where do you think you, your strengths were and what did you build on this season? Uh, no, like I said, I mean, uh, I came in uh, with one goal and I was making the team out of camp and, uh, and uh, you know, Things didn't work out, and then I ended up down here. But uh, it's always a good challenge, and uh, you know I'm always trying to stay positive and, uh, and try to bring whatever I can bring. And and uh, uh, you know a little disappointed we didn't make the playoffs, but that's how it is sometimes. It's competitive and it's it's tough, and we were in it the whole way. So uh, you know just go home and uh, regroup, and uh, you know take some time time off, and then uh, see what happens next year. Season overall for you, I mean, how do you assess, I mean, a lot of challenges both with the big club and here with the Rockford Ice Dogs, a lot of player turnover, the coaching changes as well. For you as a, as a player that's played a couple of seasons of hockey now, I mean, how did you approach that and, and try and tackle it mentally, physically to, to ultimately put yourself in the best case scenario? Uh, I mean, I always try to, you know, I just focus on the things that I can do and it's pretty much playing my game and showing up every day and everything else is, is not in my hands. So, uh, you know, that's uh, not much I can do with, but uh, we obviously had some challenges this year, but I think we, everyone handled them well, and and uh, that's, you know, stuff's going to happen every year. Uh, every year is different, so, uh, yeah, that's how it is. <laughs> well, turning the page on the next year, contract negotiations up for you, and then ultimately, what are you looking to do here in the off season to maybe unwind for a second, but then obviously training is probably not too far around the corner. No, I'm gonna I'm gonna go home and meet up with the national team and play the World Championships. And uh, you know, when that is done, I'll uh, take a couple of weeks off and then start uh, you know preparing for next year. And uh, I don't know what's gonna happen yet, but uh, you know, I know I still want to be over here, and I still feel I'm not ready to give up the dream and playing in the NHL. So uh, as long as I feel that I can I can do that, I'm gonna go home and and uh, you know work on the things that uh, is gonna help me get there again. Well, I mean, congratulations in going home to play for the national team. I mean, what does that do for you? I mean, that's got to be a certain point of pride to represent your country and, and be able to contribute on a world stage. Yeah, it, it always is. You know, you put on the on the jersey and you have the flag uh, of your country, you know, on the chest. So uh, that's always a big thing. And and uh, I know all the guys, I guys there well. I played played with them since 2010, and uh, it's uh, you know we're just a good group of guys. You know, going on the trip, playing some hockey games. But um, you know, and, and it's it's uh, it's a fun tournament too. Uh, it's you know, getting more and more competitive every year. So uh, we're in kind of that middle middle seed and uh, fighting for a for a quarterfinal. And but we can also get relegated. So uh, it's uh, it's going to be fun to play some more hockey. <laughs>